India's power generation capacity has nearly tripled in the last 14 years. From 105 gigawatt in 2002 to 330 gigawatt in 2016 and is expected to reach 430 gigawatt by 2022. Hello and a very warm welcome to our special series on next generation power technologies presented by GE. In today's video, we are looking at some of the cutting edge technological innovations powering the energy sector of the country. The largest fuel that drives generation, really drives the global economy, is coal. Currently, India has 50 to 60 gigawatt of coal-based power capacity under construction. In the next 15 to 20 years, coal will continue to play an important role in the country's energy mix, with 50 to 60 percent share. Considering factors such as energy security and grid stability, coal-based power generation and its ancillary industries are also critical for meeting the growth aspirations of the Indian economy by creating millions of direct and indirect employment opportunities for its young workforce. However, coal-based power generation comes with a number of challenges. Although coal availability is not an issue, there are concerns about energy efficiency and the environmental implications of coal-based generation. Thermal power stations are designed for an economical and stable lifespan of 25 years, by the end of which is seen a significant degradation of performance of many plants. This is reflected in frequent forced outages, reduced output, decreased efficiency, higher emissions and increased cost of generation. The installed base that exists today, there's still so much we can do to make it cleaner, to make it more efficient, to make it more flexible. And what you see in Ukai is a tremendous example, really a proof point for India and beyond, where you can take an existing power station by making a very focused investment, substantially improve the performance of an existing asset, both in terms of efficiency and also in terms of really emissions and the impact that it has in the environment. India has opted for R&M program, which improves the performance and extend the life of older power plants. In line with the government's goal to improve efficiency and reduce emissions from the installed coal power plants fleet, GE and NGSL, an NTPC and GE joint venture, has announced the milestone results of a steam turbine modernization project at the Ukai power station in Gujarat. At 1,350 megawatt Ukai station was successfully modernized the 200 megawatt LMZ steam turbine with its ASP technology in May 2017. Since the units were becoming quite old, something like 35, 30 years, we had the idea of upgrading these units to improve the efficiency of the machine, to improve the heat rate of the turbine, and also for the reduction of CO2 emissions. We have gone for RNM. With GE, we have taken, uh, in fact, two machines we have taken, uh, as far as RNM is concerned, that is Ukai number no. 4 and uh, Wanderburi number no. 3. Both are 200 megawatt units. And main job was to uh, improve the heat rate of turbine. And we decided to uh, replace the main uh, turbine shaft line that is HP turbine, IP turbine and LP except for outer casing. We got uh, turbine heat rate efficiency improvement of almost 14%, overall thermal efficiency improvement of 5%. You've reduced coal consumption on an annual basis by over 100,000 metric tons. That's like taking 150,000 automobiles off the road in India. So you're providing cheaper power to the country. In terms of money, if you look for the coal, almost 45 crores saving will be there. The upgrading of Ukai power plant represents a major milestone which aims to slash the global CO2 emissions from the world's fleet of current coal plants with a total plant hardware and software solution approach affordable power, emissions, and the environmental impact of the energy ecosystem, as well as the economics for our customer. It's really an outstanding project. Wonderful experience we had with GE. In fact, right from the beginning when we envisaged the RNA, we had been working together as a team. GE had been uh, very proactive and did their all uh, manufacturing in very short time of one and a half years. Job content was very high and it was quite complicated and involved a lot of precautions to be uh, taken. Ukai provides a tremendous reference for the rest of the country to contemplate and what you already see is the GE and NGSL team are on to the next project. So right now we're working with NTPC in Telangana at their Ramagundam plant to do a very similar 
shaft line upgrade, the GE team, as well as the NGSL team, which is a joint venture between NTPC and GE. We expect another outstanding performance there for NTPC. And really the team has been to every state generating company, as well as a number of private players, their plants, their units, and what we can do to help drive efficiency. And the team is fantastic. With electricity demand expected to be more than triple in the next two decades to 3,300 terawatt hours by 2040, the scope and opportunities in modernization of power plants are abound. Given the need to balance the growing environmental concerns with the objective of providing affordable power to its citizens, it is important for India to manage coal plants with a holistic approach. Integrated solutions along with latest digital technologies will ensure that coal-based power plants will continue to be the mainstay of India's power system, supplying affordable and reliable power meeting the growth aspirations of Indian economy.